needs are. Uh, the biggest shift we're seeing is where they're moving their budgets, funnily enough, away from traditional to digital. Now that's not new, but what's changing is actually how do they justify that because their budgets are so well set in terms of uh, traditional TV, traditional print, is at what point do you cross over into digital and what do you give up to obtain the engagement that was yet from digital. So from a trend perspective, one of the things that we're working a lot on with these clients is really mapping out the customer journey and really identifying a lot of the content points, uh, the touch points that we really need to engage with their key audiences, particularly those where the product itself may not be that exciting. So you're know, thinking of toothpaste, uh, hair wash, skincare. Skincare is a little bit easier. Uh, and one of the other natural parts of moving over to so digital media and the world of social media is, well, tell us about measurement because back to this justification question and delivering uh, ROI is how do we start to demonstrate the true metrics from I've seen some content or possibly I've engaged on your Facebook page or become a fan, at what point and how do we translate that through to some sort of meaningful measurement of I'm either going to buy your product or I prefer your product. So what that means is there's been a lot more integration with the research companies and really just, once again, taking that whole customer journey from the time that someone may be uh, walking into a store and experiencing a brand for the first time and not purchasing through to possibly researching online before they go into store. As I said, this is mainly the, the realm of SMCG, but these are the guys that are spending currently the most money in traditional media and really now reforming that equation to work from a digital perspective, not just in digital media, but also in the actual content and the experiences that, they, uh, that we deliver for them. So what that means, uh, 2012, uh, hopefully we're going to see a lot more interesting and cool stuff from FNCG brands, uh, which I imagine is going to involve a lot of content, games, apps, that sort of thing.